Hi, my name is Ayumi Moraoki. I am the founder and the CEO of Women in Tech Global Movement. We are an organization based in Paris, but we are present in 45 countries and expanding to 100 countries until 2025. Our mission is to empower 5 million women and girls in STEM until 2030. We do this through a number of programs. and We also have a platform where we offer products and services for women to be skilled, to get funding, and also a community for them to be able to network, to interact and to grow together. So for the past 40 years, there has been a decline in the number of women coming into the technology field. Unfortunately, there were more women in the 60s and in the 70s than there are today in the 2020s. Women today represent about one-fifth of the workforce. And knowing that 75% of the jobs in 2030 do not exist yet, we know how much we need more talent and women, women coming into the technology field in a very large sense of technology, all the STEM fields, whether it's science, engineering, technology or mathematics. I think everything that's going to be coming with these new jobs are going to be tech related somehow, whether in AI, whether in Web 2, or now we're going to Web 3. And so women have to be part of this digital revolution right now so that we can make sure that all the products and services that we are going to be building, they're going to be built also by women so that we can see that the products and services are something that we're going to be needing and not just reflecting half of the population. So how do we address this problem? How do we bring more women into technology? There are different ways that we can do that. And these are the ways that we are working with women in tech today. One of the ways is bringing women through skilling. So we need to educate women, not only on the entry level, not only as early as a school, which is super important, but also throughout a woman's career. I think there's no age limit for women to be transitioning into technology. And once again, knowing that there are gonna be lots of jobs tomorrow, they're gonna be being built today, they don't exist yet. I think women must know that they can come into technology at any time of, of their lives whether they 15, 25 or 55. So education and skilling and skilling throughout someone's lifetime is very important. I think another way is also um, trying to break the stereotype biases of what women can do and what women cannot do. So I think showing little girls and even women examples of how there are great women in technology um, leading companies, leading startups, giving them awareness of what jobs are available with this in the, within this field. I think it will be able to inspire young girls and even older women also to come into this field. And the third thing, I think it's also funding. If you look at there are at the funding in the startup ecosystem today, there are less than 3% of funding goes to women-led startups. I think we have to really look into the investment space, whether the investors themselves or the startups, and how can we work together with the academia, with the government, with the private sector, on finding different ways to support women-led women enterprises. So it's very important not only to get women into technology, but I think the main thing is to be able to retain women in technology. If you look at the retainal rate, there are much more dropouts women leaving the space than there are men leaving the space. So what can corporates do to retain women? I think they have to create an environment that's going to be uh, women friendly, that's going to be welcoming, that's going to be inclusive. And that comes from whether they can work from home, being agile in the, in the workspace as well. Also, uh, making sure that the women are in leadership positions. I think that's not only we have to bring the women into the corporate world, but we have to make sure that they're not at the bottom level, that they're going to be present in every single layer of the, of the company. I think that we have more women leaders within the company. There's going to be more empathy, and I think there's going to be more agility as well on the way they're going to be um, dealing with you know, maternity leave and all the questions that are regarding you know the woman's lifestyle. I think everyone can break into the tech industry even if you do not have a technical background. I myself only came into tech when I was in my 30s, it was 15 years ago, and today I'm leading women in technology. I also created two startups in the technology business and I think all you have to do is to really have this dream and know what you want to do and just go for it. Today, whether it's online, whether uh, it's around the world, there are communities, there are spaces that are there to support women that want to come into the industry, supporting them with a the network, but also with the skills, with the courses, with the programs. It's a very good thing even to come from different backgrounds. I, for instance, I came from fine arts. So if you look at fine arts, and then I went into hotel business, hospitality, and now into technology, all of this adds something to your background. Um, and you come even with more power and with more creativity into technology and this is what we need. We need women that come from different backgrounds, with different luggage, with different knowledge and experiences to enforce and to empower 
um, the space. Obviously, on the one side, we have to have women to be brave and to dare come into space, but also we have to be, have men helping. I think I'm really a true believer that we've got allies and that we have men there to support women, to encourage women, and also to open doors. I think if you're a man in a corporate position, for instance, you must make sure that around the table when decisions are being made, look around and see if there's a woman next to you. And if there isn't, invite one. Mentor a woman, be a mentee of a woman so you can also learn and grow. And also just make sure that if there are things that are being said and if they witness um, some behavior that are not friendly, um, that are abusive, also stand up and stand up and, and speak out to make sure that this kind of behavior is not uh, reproduced. I think that for any woman out there that is interested, is asking themselves, should it be for me? Should I come into the tech world? I say, reach out. Reach out to someone, reach out to your community, reach out to women in tech. We're always going to be there to answer your questions, to give you a network, a community that's going to be able to support you, to empower you, to help you in any way you can. If it's by answering questions, if it's by you know welcoming you in events, by offering or by um, introducing you to a specific program that will be able to help you get skilled, or just, you know, just having a, inviting to our events also to meet other women that have been gone through the same process as you so that you do not feel alone.